Hi everyone, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. Today, as the title says, I want to talk about my favorite type of jigsaw puzzle image. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about White Mountain Puzzles. Before I get into it, make sure that you subscribe if you want to see me do a new puzzle every week. And press that like button because it really helps my channel when you do. So in the past, I have made a bunch of videos about puzzles with really beautiful packaging and Instagram and Pinterest worthy images, often with a high price tag to match. Well, today we are going in the exact opposite direction because these boxes aren't anything I would have out on display. The pictures aren't something I'm going to like put up on my wall. But as jigsaw puzzles, these are my favorite type of puzzles to do. So the puzzle we're going to be looking at today is Cereal Boxes by White Mountain Puzzles. And full disclosure, they did send me all of these puzzles for free. Uh, except for this one, which I bought myself. So if we look at the box, it is a very standard classic puzzle box from the shape to the design. They have the puzzle image nice and big on the front and they are very proud that they're made in the US. The sides of the box are pretty standard as well. There's tons of information crammed on there and it's not overly designed. It's not like a beautiful typographic design, but everything is legible and all the info that you need is on there. So if we open it up, I'll get to the pieces in a second, but I thought this was really interesting. They include this cardboard piece that you fold up to make a box stand so that you can have the box in front of you while you're doing the puzzle. I actually did use it while working on this puzzle and it's not the most sturdy thing in the world, but it was pretty useful. I really liked it. They also include this little insert, which is so old school. I remember these mail order slips from like bits and pieces when I was a kid, and I did not know that companies still offered mail ordering but apparently they do. Anyway, on the back of the box is another catalog of pictures. You can see that they do a lot in this collage style, which I'll talk about soon. So let's take a look at the pieces. It's only a thousand pieces, but the pieces are very large. So it feels like more than that just because they take up so much space. The printing is pretty glossy, but not the most shiny I've ever seen. And the cardboard isn't super thick, but it doesn't feel flimsy. It's just about average. I do like the color of the cardboard on the back and the pieces feel nice to the touch. So they have pretty much all of the classic puzzle shapes, but they're not uniformly cut. Uh, some of them will have little notches like this that give it a slightly more unique look. Also, there were a handful of pieces that were already together, including these that I literally had to cut apart, but most of them came apart more easily than that. So now that we've looked at everything that comes in the box, let's get started. So the sorting for this puzzle was pretty easy since all of the edges have this red border. So that went pretty quickly, but I just want to warn you that you need a lot of space to do this puzzle. Like look at how much room all of these pieces take up. There are just so many layers of them. There is a little bit of puzzle dust, but not a ton. So it's easy to just wipe it away. So as I started working on the edge, I just want to reiterate, one more time, how much space this puzzle takes up. I literally had to move my camera higher up halfway through because most of the puzzle was getting cut off. But since there are so many different bright colors, the edge went together super easily. But the puzzle is so big that I literally had to move my camera up again to the highest it can possibly go. And the edges are still getting a little cut off, but this is just what we have to deal with. 
But anyway, here is what I love about this type of picture. I love any puzzle with lots of little mini sections within it with clear divisions between them. I think it's so fun to try to identify a lot of different textures and colors without having huge sections of each one and then to have to remember where on the board that texture was when you find another piece to go with it. It really engages the multitasking part of your brain, since you have to remember what a lot of different sections look like all at once. This type of collage has just the right amount of busyness, where the pieces are colorful and interesting, but it's not so dense that it becomes frustrating. You've seen me do a lot of puzzles on this channel that just make me hate my life, but this is a puzzle that I genuinely enjoy. The bright colors make me so happy, and for some reason I just like any puzzle with text on it, maybe because of my graphic design background. This would also be a really fun one to do without looking at the box, since you would have to figure out where on the board each mini section connected. It would definitely take a lot longer to do it that way, so I looked at the box so that I wasn't filming literally all day. This puzzle ended up taking me just over three hours, and I always felt like I was making progress. There weren't any points where I felt totally stuck because there was always another section to move on to. Although I will say this design is is so busy that by the end I literally had to run my hand over the puzzle to find the empty spots because I couldn't even see where the last few pieces were supposed to go. So the pieces hold together pretty well, well enough to move sections around while you're working on it, but definitely not well enough to pick up the entire thing. One corner kind of uh, crumbled when I tried that, so I had to rebuild it really quickly. So if you do want to display this, you would definitely have to glue it together. So for me personally, is this an image that I'm going to glue together and put up on my wall and have that on display? Definitely not. Is this a puzzle box that I will use to decorate my house? Again, definitely not. But this is a puzzle that I'm going to return to over and over again because the actual act of putting this picture together is one of my favorite puzzles I've ever done. And you know, different puzzlers have different priorities. I'm not saying that this puzzle is overall like better or worse than any of the more Instagrammy ones. I'm just trying to show you that there are lots of different options for the type of puzzle that you can get and the type of puzzling experience that you can have based on how you want to spend your money. Speaking of money, I also like that White Mountain puzzles are relatively inexpensive. On their website, all of the thousand piece puzzles are $17. And Amazon puzzle prices are crazy right now because of the pandemic. But White Mountain sells tons of their puzzles on Amazon, so they're really easy to get your hands on. So what I love about them is that they have tons of options of these collage style puzzles. This one is called Things I Ate As A Kid. I've had it for ages. It's again, one of my favorites. And I'm gonna pop a few others in this same style up on screen so you can just see how many different options there are. And they also have different types of illustrations too. They don't only do the collage. Uh, they sent me Reader's Paradise, which is this library style image. Um, I already put this one together and it was really fun. And they also sent me this pencils puzzle, which is a little intimidating, but one of these days when I have like an entire free Sunday, I'll get to it and let you know how it goes. And of course, I'm going to link all of these right down below if you want to try them for yourself. But back to the cereal theme, they also sent me these little hundred piece puzzles that come in these boxes that look like mini cereal boxes, like what you would get in an airport or something. How cute is that? Um, you might remember, not that one, 
The Lucky Charms puzzle from my puzzle exercise video, just looking at this is giving me flashbacks to trying to hold a really long plank. But today I decided to open them all up and mix them together to turn them into basically a 600 piece puzzle. Since it's six small puzzles, there are a lot more edge pieces than normal. So I started by sorting those out and then doing all of the edges was actually the most difficult part since all of the design is on the center of the images, so the edges are just a lot of solid colors. But once I had the edges done, I started filling them in and I had so much fun with this. Mixing them together is a great way to make smaller puzzles more difficult for us advanced puzzlers. Although I will say that the Cinnamon Toast Crunch puzzle made me feel a little ill because the first summer that I lived on my own in college, I basically ate Cinnamon Toast Crunch for breakfast every single day. I ate way too much of it, and now I cannot eat it anymore. But anyway, this was just a fun little bonus puzzle to spend an hour on. But after I was finished, this is the best part. I realized that all of these mini puzzles have the exact same cut which means that the pieces can be mixed and matched between them. I love doing stuff like this and getting creative with the pieces and the photography. It's definitely super trippy to look at, but if you have this puzzle set, I would love to see what compositions you come up with by swapping the pieces around. So I would love to know in a comment, have you ever done a White Mountain puzzle? And when you're picking your puzzles, are your priorities on the picture and the act of doing the puzzle, or is it more for the packaging and picking an image that you want to display? Again, we are not judging anyone here. Different people have different priorities and that is totally fine. So your code word for the comments, if you watched this entire thing, will be Cheerios because that is my family's favorite cereal. Literally, my mom buys it when it's on sale and we just have an entire cabinet full of like giant boxes of Cheerios. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one.